in the pre previous exercise we created a CDS and we had one level of drill down and we learned how the association or the join happens on demand and we, we understood the difference between the exposed association and the uh, ad hoc association and how to specify or write them and how to use them. Now we will create another CDS. In the CDS we will consume this CDS and it will also have an association of itself. So I will right click on data definition, new definition, I will say G S Y. I will say vendor P O association. So vendor purchase order association. I will hit next. It will ask for a transport. I will choose next, no error and I will choose a template and then hit finish. So as usual I will change the SQL view name so even if in the middle of the night in your sleep when you create a CDS view you should know that you need to change the SQL view name. So I change here I remove the underscore as per our naming convention in our project. I will say vendor PO association so let me count if it is 16 or less 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 so we are good so this SQL view name is correct now as select from so what what are we trying to do we are trying to select the data between the vendor master and the purchase order header so we'll create an association and then we'll see how many purchase orders were created for a particular uh, vendor so we'll find the list of purchase order and then we will so that will be the first drill down so first you will have the list of vendors so you will go to the association and then check how many purchase orders are created so that will be the first level of drill down and then from the purchase level header you do another drill down and get the total number of line items for that purchase order so that is the second level of drill down so that is the motto of our exercise so first so the first data source will be so vendor master LFA1 and then I have an association so one vendor can have multiple purchase orders so I'll say one too many over here that's the cardinality what is the target source name target source name is um, purchase order header right so but we already have the purchase order header and purchase order item in this view so why will you create uh, why will you select from EKQ again so in that case we should be using this view all right so i'll take this view i'll use here so this is the target uh, target cds as association name so i need to give association name so i'll give it as z p o head i'll give and then lfa1 element name so how what is the field that is common between lift uh, lfa1 and po header it is Lifner, right? This is the vendor master, vendor number. So, it is a vendor number name, and the PO header will or should have Lifner. So, I think we created, okay, we have the Lifner here. So, this Lifner will join or will have an association with the vendor master Lifner. So, we are good. And now we need to select what all fields you want from the CDS view. So we will give a key. Key is needed. So I will say Lifner. I will say the vendor master name and then I will say the country it belongs to. Alright. And then we will keep it exposed. So what are we doing? Okay. Why is this crying? Name one. Okay. I have written two times name one. So another one should be say the country. I will say land one. Alright. So and then I'll right click and then just try to format it so that it gives some alignment. Okay, so what what did I do now? So I created another CDS view. Meanwhile, I'll just activate it. So I created another CDS view and then I did an association with the view which we created in the previous exercise. This is the view. This view in turn has one association over here, which we are not using in the second view. So here nowhere it is mentioned. But since we are using the CDS view, it is 
um, inherited. So this uh, this association association will be passed in this CDS view too. So and then in this CDS we have another association which we have GPO header, and then we have made it as exposed association. Right? This is X exposed association means we have not specified any any particular fields but we are just exposing it and we will use it when we need it so we'll use it on demand now let us test it you will see the beauty of cds so if i press f8 what will happen it will give the data only from this only this three data where are these data coming from these are coming from lfa1 so this is the vendor master data so did the association get triggered yet answer is no we, we we have the signature in the cds but that signature is only the semantics the join has not happened in the database yet so when will the join happen when i will right click on it and then i will say go to the list of purchase order by following the association so when i will click this the first association will happen so what will be the association the association between lfa1 and this cds this association will happen which is signified by this name okay so let's see our first association so i choose one any one vendor and i'll say follow association so at this point it will check the cardinality and then it will give me the list of all the purchase orders created for that vendor if you see here the vendor is same but the purchase order are different so this is the first level of drill down so we have not written any code we are just using um, or using the power of association now for this po i want to see how many line items are there so what i'll do i'll right click i'll again say follow the association and this is the second level of association which i was talking about so if you follow it will go to the next association that is gpo item so where was the gpo item this is this one of this um, cds view so so this cds this cds view purchase association is consumed in this cds which is vendor pu association and then from here we are actually calling the second level of association and if i double click here it will give me the list of line items so this is the beauty so this not only helps in the easy navigations but also it is performance optimized so you are not doing the actual join in the database so you are just doing the join between the rows which you need and therefore it is very performance uh, optimized i hope i was able to explain you the difference between the association and joins so if we had made a join if we had made a join between this three table lfa1 ekq and ekpo then the join would have been triggered immediately whenever you would have executed that cds but in case of association the join happens one at a time and only when you need them all right so therefore it is very good for your performance or health of your system or your application which you are trying to build if you still have questions please leave a message at the bottom or whatsapp us at our number that is plus one six four seven seven two seven nine two seven three we'll try to clarify further but i think if you go through the previous exercise and this exercise one more time you should be clear with the concepts in the next video you will see how we can consume or use this cds with two level of associations in an abap program